Hi there, Toy here, and today I am shooting the, I guess my August wrap up for, you know, what I read, and then I'll tell you what I'm currently reading and what I hope to be reading in September. So for the month of August, I did pretty good. My reading challenge is going really well. Um, just a quick recap, I started out wanting to read 30 books, realized that with reading children's books and shorter fiction that I was going to get through that way too fast, so I bumped it up to 50. And I believe as it stands right now, I'm like 80% done with it. <laughs> I literally think I have like 10 books left to read between now and um, December 31st. So uh, I guess I want to go ahead and get into what I've read in the month of August. Another quick reminder, aside from me just doing like a, a normal Goodreads uh, challenge with the number of books, I also set aside a certain titles that I wanted to read this year. So I've been updating that along the way. So for the month of August, I finished reading, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six titles. So I finished reading six titles. And actually that's more like five and a half because one of them was something that I had already read. I'll talk about that in a second. Of those five and a half titles, two of them were on my original list of things that I wanted to read this year. So the reason why I said I finished six or five and a half titles was because I've been reading a devotional. It's a one a day, you know, scriptural reference and then like a, a passage since, you know, January 1st. And there was a certain point where I was reading like two or three of those a day. So I got through it quicker than, you know, I was supposed to because if you do it one a day, it goes all year. Well, I finally finished Cling to God and um, I was really good. I, it, I needed it. Been going through a lot and it helped me get through a lot. Overall, I gave it a four only because um, I felt like it lacked maybe like a, a prayer guide or maybe thoughts to consider. Lots of devotionals have those, not all of them, but I think the ones that I enjoy the most have those. And that's the only reason why I didn't give it a five. It's a really good devotional. It starts out very light. You don't think there's going to be much to it. And then it really packs a punch. And I think on those days when I really needed it, that's when it, it really counted. So the next thing, and, th and these are not in order, but since I've been reading that ongoing, I figured I'd start with that. Another thing that I read in the month of August was Sell Your Soul by Russell Nolte. And this is his book on basically kind of marketing and how to launch your product. He mainly is speaking to like comic book artists and authors, but also novelists because he is a comic book writer and he's also a novelist. And this is his first, I believe, nonfiction venture. And he has a lot to offer in this. I was one of the lucky few who got to read an advanced reader copy. So if you follow my blog, you've already seen the review of that. But since the book has has been released, since that review, I've updated it on Goodreads and Amazon and all that jazz. So needless to say, I gave Sell Your Soul a five star. Um, and it was, if you want to, you know, know more about it, check out the review. So the next thing I read in the month of August, I actually read at the beginning of the month. I finished it fairly quickly because I had started it the month before. And that was the Insecure Writer Support, Support Group Anthology Hero Lost. And it was a really good anthology. I've been reading a lot of good anthologies lately. I, I used to not really be into short fiction. And I think honestly, it's because the stuff I was reading wasn't that good. I, I used to read a lot of like student publications. Like when I was in college, they would come out with something. And then after college, same thing, I would read like these student publications. And not that student writers aren't good. They are. I just think I maybe at the time just wasn't receptive to them. But as I've been getting more into trying to write my own short fiction, I've been reading more. And um, Heroes Lost did not disappoint. I gave it a five. And I did like a little bullet point review of like the different stories in it. So if you want to check it out, you know what to do. The other, another thing that I read this month, this is one of the reasons why I bumped my reading challenge up to 50 because this was a work of short fiction. Uh, I don't even remember how many pages it was, but it wasn't long at all. 
and it's called Shere Khan, The Masters Reimagined. And what I thought was so cool about this, and I'll have to go back and check out some more, but apparently a whole bunch of authors got together and decided to do kind of their take on classic stories. Now, um, this has been fairly popular with like the fantasy genre where people are doing retellings of like fairy tales and things like that. But these are actually based on classic stories. And I think what was special about the Shere Khan story that I read, which I gave a five, by the way, was that to me it felt like more of an origin story. Um, it's it's based on the Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book. And so this author decided to do the research into how he wrote the original story. And there were actually some things in the original story that most people don't know because most of us are familiar with the Disney version. So she found out, you know, the real name of the tiger and like some different, you know, little tidbits. And she thought, well, why would these things be changed? And from that, she created this story that I just thought was wonderful. And so if you want to know more about that, again, check their review. The next thing I read was Lightning Crimes Disaster um, Disaster Crimes 2.5. Now I've been reading the series. It started out with, I believe, Hurricane Crimes and then Seismic Crimes and then Lightning Crimes is in between the, like, the second and the third book. And the first book in the series was a novella, so it was short. And the second book was a full-length novel. And this 2.5 is like, it's a short story. Like, I don't know that it even qualifies as a novella. It's really short. And it's a great little, I guess, if you if you were re if you were reading the series for the first time and you didn't realize that the third one was out already, you just couldn't wait, this would be the one. But what I think is cool about this is that it's, I believe it's perma-free. So anyone who maybe wants to try out the series could read this one first, although it does give kind of a spoiler. I mean, I don't think that if you read it, you would be disappointed in the first two books, but it does kind of let you know something that happens in the first two books. So, you know, whatever. I gave it a four. And let's see, the next thing that I read this, okay, here is where the five and a half comes in. Um, I, I think I did this last month also. One of my favorite authors, Stacey Rourke, released a box set of one of the series that she wrote. And I love that series. So, of course, I... Um, got I reviewed it and actually kind of went through it and read some of my favorite parts or whatever and this one I didn't it's not actually included on my Goodreads challenge so that's kind of why I said a half because it's not counting it's not being counted towards my 50 um, reads of the year I just I, yeah. <laughs> I just reviewed it on Amazon so um, I gave it a four if you're not familiar with the series Stacey Rourke Legend Saga check it out it's pretty good it is a fairy tale retelling, I guess. I don't know. It's complicated. Some of it's historical. It's good. So that is what I read and reviewed in the month of August. And so what I'm currently reading, like right now, I am reading... <laughs> I read Crest, which is the third book in the Luna Chronicles, um, all of the month of August, but I didn't finish it until after September 1st. So that's why I didn't really... Go. So basically, you'll hear this again next month because I'm not going to go too much into it now. But I'm currently reading Fairest in that series. And that is, um, I guess it's kind of a prequel because it tells the story of the queen. And I have to say, this is probably the one I've been most anticipating. I mean, I've, been, I've enjoyed the series overall, but when I found out that she had done, because I read the first two books before, like, significant significant amount of time before I got to this third book and so it wasn't until I started to read the third book that I realized that she had this this other book called Ferris I mean I knew the fourth in the series which is winter I'll get to that eventually but somehow I missed that this book was out there or maybe it just got released late I don't know but you know the whole time I'm reading this Lunar Chronicle series I'm thinking I would really like to know the story of the queen and ta-da, here it is, and I'm reading it. Liking it so far. Um, I'm also reading Marketing for Writers Who Hate Marketing. This is a book club book, um, Insecure Writer Support Group book club book. Last month, I think we read, what do we read? Secret Garden. So I think what we're doing is alternating. I really should pay attention to the rules more. Um, they're the admin of the group, Chris Faye, does an excellent job of communicating 
I just don't always do an extra job of listening and pay attention. But I think we alternate, you know, one month we do a fiction book and one month we do a nonfiction book. And each time, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, we're focusing on something specific. So like last month, we were focusing on characterization and we did Super Garden. And this month we're doing um, marketing. So yeah. So far, I'm, I'm literally almost finished with it. It's, it's not a long book. Was, I don't feel like it's a long book. And um, I'm liking it so far. Margie, what you doing? You want to come up? You want to come up? There she is. There she is. You want to see her? There she is. She's all the time getting into mommy's videos. All the time. All right. So, um, so let's see. So that those are the two books that I'm currently reading. I have other books that are just waiting for me to open them. And because I have a short attention span when it comes to reading, I'm probably going to crack them open. So what else I'm planning to read in the month of August? One is Motowak, Woman Who Cries. And this one I actually meant to start it last month. But again, there was a lot going on. And um, I just didn't get to it. I want it. So I'm very excited about it. It's an audio book. And so I'm hoping to get to that in the month of September. I also want to read Dream Slayer book one from Jill Cooper. I read another one of her books. I can't remember the title right now. So it sparked an interest in me wanting to read some of her other works. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, I love the cover that, you know, and because I liked her other book, I assume that I'll enjoy this one as well. We'll see. And the other book that I've been just, I don't know why I keep pushing this down. On my TV, I've heard good things about it, and I'm interested in the story concept. And that <laughs> I know I'm almost finished, sweetheart. I'm almost finished. And that is um, "Ignite the Shadows" by Ingrid Seymour. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hmm? What's the matter? What's the matter? I just fed you. I just fed you. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, <laughs> And that's Ignite the Shadows by Ingrid Seymour. So those are the things that I'm planning to read in the month of September. And because I'm so far ahead on my um, Goodreads challenge, and I and September's looking good, I'm going to do something special in the month of October. I think I'm going to go completely like off the list here. And I'll let you know about that a little bit later. So if you're watching this video, this should be the last one that I'm shooting from this location. Um, we had some things going on in, in the front room of our house where I used to record, so hope to be back there next time. I'm also hoping to do a haul re in, you know, soon. I have some cool things I want to share with you guys, so that's all I have for now. Please, if you want, you know, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're reading. Um, if you have any thoughts or opinions about the books I've read or want to know some more about them, let me know. And yeah, bye-bye for now.